Hello my friends, I'm Amy Esther and I live with multiple chronic illnesses, lots of pains in lots of places and as I've shared many times on my channel, I live with chronic migraines and headaches and they make it so hard to function day to day. And I'm so excited to share with you something that has been helping my migraines today. And I'd like to thank Cephaly for sponsoring this video. Before I show you Cephaly, I wanna start with my migraine story. So I have suffered from migraines and headaches for a really long time. Since I was a kid, I started getting headaches. I had chronic headaches if I didn't sleep well or ate too much sugar or I'd get car sick easily or headaches from being on screens too long. I just seemed really sensitive to so many things. However, there is a difference between headaches and migraines. For me, the way that I define headaches and migraines is headaches are pain in my head and they can range from slight annoyance to extremely painful but typically when I get a headache, it's only pain in my head, unlike the added symptoms that migraines bring. When I was in my teens, I started getting severe migraines and these were more than just a headache. They would start always for me on the left side of my head and they'd be behind my eye and radiate all the way back <laughs> around my head to the back of my neck. For me, it's a sharp pain and it ranges from mildly annoying to absolutely excruciating. Along with the pain, I am extremely nauseous, dizzy, and weak. Sometimes I throw up and I am extremely sensitive to light, sounds, and smells, and I need to be in a dark, quiet room with an ice pack on my head. It is really difficult as a mom of three. I have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old, so I have very young kids, and a quiet, dark room on a typical day is not very easy to find. So having these migraines has made it very difficult to live my day-to-day -day life. These migraines have affected me and my family so much, and I am constantly looking for things to help me manage them better. The reason we think my migraines have started when I was a teenager is because I was in a car accident when I was about 16 years old, which sent me to the hospital with neck pain. They did scans and said everything was fine and sent me home to rest. However, after that car accident, I was having severe migraines multiple times a week. These migraines would take me out of school and work and I could hardly open my eyes. Not to mention the daily smaller headaches and migraines that were almost always present. Flash forward, 10 years later, I started seeing an upper cervical chiropractor. I do have a full detailed video on that and how that has been going. I will link that down below if you're interested in more information. I came to find out that the top two bones in my spine were twisted, one going to the left, one going to the right. And we believe that this happened when I was in that car accident. However, when I went to the hospital, they did not see this or they didn't know that this was a problem. And years later, I finally figured it out and I have my chiropractor put those bones back into place and every single time my correction goes out, I get another severe migraine. And when it holds, I do still have some milder headaches and migraines throughout the week, but I don't have the intense, super severe migraines when I get that correction to hold. At this time, it still does go out occasionally, so I still have to deal with the severe migraines. I have EDS, and I think that's the reason that my body has a hard time holding this correction, and it also was misaligned for 10 years, and so it's been a long journey to get that correction to hold, and I still deal with small migraines and headaches, and when my correction goes out, severe ones. When that correction goes out, it is some of the worst pain I've ever been in. There have been times where I actually went to the ER because I was in so much pain, thought my brain had to be bleeding or something. It wasn't, it was just my correction going out, tiny little bone change, and my migraines get better. And although my migraines do improve when I get this correction done, I still have small, more minor migraines and headaches all throughout the week. I still am very sensitive to light and being on a computer screen too long or sugar and all the things I mentioned earlier, I still do deal with those on a regular basis. But I'm so excited to share that I have found something to help with these frequent migraines and headaches and that is Cephaly. This little device is Cephaly, and it's very simple to use. Make sure you cleanse your skin before applying the Cephaly treatment. For preventative care, I usually do it in the morning before putting on makeup or before bed after washing my face. If I have a migraine attack come midday, I make sure to wash my makeup off on my forehead first. 
Once my skin is dry, I apply the electrode between my eyebrows, then firmly run my fingers over it until it lies flat. Next, I connect the device with these magnets and begin treatment. To start the device, I simply press the button. For the acute program to use as a migraine comes on, press the button once. This is a 60 minute program. For a preventative program, press it twice. And this is a 20 minute program. The first time I did this, I let the intensity get way too high but I quickly removed the device and then it stopped immediately. Now I've learned that once I hit my desired intensity, I press the button again and it stabilizes. It feels just like a strong vibration. If it becomes painful, then it's likely too intense. It might take you some time to figure out the right intensity for you. I know for me, I had to use it many times to figure out what was right for me and I highly recommend starting lower and working your way up while you figure out the right intensity for you. I found that the more that I have used it, the better that it works for me because I understand how it works a little bit better the more I use it, as well as just figuring out what the right intensity for me, what the right program was for me, and when to start using the device. I do find that starting it right at the onset of a migraine makes such a big difference. And when it comes to the preventative care, I find that doing it regularly every single day really is what helps keep those migraines and headaches away. When I first started it, I didn't see a huge change, but the more I have used it, the bigger the difference it has made. I highly recommend using it every day as it might take more than one session for it to work for you. Consistency is key. Cephaly recommends two to three months to see results with preventative mode. Now let's talk about how Cephaly works. It uses transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or TENS to target the trigeminal nerve, which is often associated by migraines. By stimulating this nerve, Cephaly helps to prevent the onset of migraines and reduce their severity. Ideally, I like to relax while I'm using it, especially if it's for an acute migraine. It's best to lay down so that you don't break the device by dropping it. The biggest thing that I have learned after using this for some time is that you need to use it right at the start of a migraine. I had a few times where I tried to use it after hours into my migraine or my migraine started in the middle of the night and I started it in the morning when I woke up and it just doesn't seem to work as well as when I start it right away. If I feel a migraine coming on, it's best to use it right then. And if I want to prevent it, it's best to use it every day. Cephaly recommended using it for two to three months for preventative care, so don't give up if it's not working for you at the beginning. They also offer a 90-day money-back guarantee, so I highly recommend trying it out and seeing if it works for you and giving it time to figure out the best intensity for you as well as to improve its effectiveness over time. I am someone who is extremely sensitive to medications, and when I was in high school and first getting migraines, I was put on every migraine medication you can think of. I, over the years, have found a few things to help, a few medications that have helped, but overall, most of them give me such negative side effects and it's not even worth taking it. One thing I absolutely love about Cephaly is that in clinical studies, there were no serious adverse side effects reported. It is non-invasive and doesn't give me the annoying side effects of pain medications. Cephaly is an FDA cleared migraine treatment device that can relieve pain and give you more migraine free days. You don't need a prescription to try this and it's so simple to use. I need to stabilize the device before it gets too intense, but as long as I do that and use it right on the onset of my migraine starting, it doesn't hurt or give me any other negative side effects. It not only works for acute migraine attacks, but helps to prevent them too. I'm really excited to see the long-term effects of using this device over time and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on how it works over time. Everything you need to learn more about Cephaly and to purchase the product is linked in the description below. And if you end up trying it, let me know how it goes. I want to thank Cephaly again for sponsoring this video. I think you will really love it if you live with chronic migraines. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can hear all the things about how to live the most amazing life while living with chronic illness. I hope that you are in less pain tomorrow than you were today, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, my friends.